Hey guys, today is an amazing day because something that I've been stressing a lot lately is the security of bridges. I've talked about this extensively on my channel with you guys, but today is an amazing day because Chainlink has announced that CCIP is now ready. CCIP stands for Cross-Chain Interoperability Protocol, and it is a way for smart contracts to be written for cross-chain interoperability. So let's say somebody building a lending platform like Aave or Synthetix, who have already announced that they are going to be building on top of this protocol. Let's say they want to do some lending cross-chain from AVAX to Ethereum or some other chain. They can now do that and build smart contracts around CCIP that will allow these smart contracts to communicate from one chain to another. And in doing so, it gets all of the security that oracles on Chainlink get as well. So not only is this a way of exchanging coins across other chains like the current bridges that we have, this is a way to communicate through smart contracts cross-chain. So let's say you want to write a smart contract on Avalanche because Avalanche is cheaper than Ethereum, but you do want some sort of connectivity to the Ethereum network. You can absolutely do that using CCIP. So this is an amazing opportunity for builders out there, developers that want to break into Web3 but don't want to break the bank on Ethereum. They can do that now by using chains like Arbitrum or Optimism, which are already on the list of chains that are available during this current testing period. So it is live on mainnet, but only on a select few number of chains. Those chains are Arbitrum, Avalanche, Ethereum, Optimism, and Polygon. So those are the main chains anyways, so that's, that's awesome to see. But they plan on expanding even further to a lot of these smaller chains with lower TVLs. But like I said, Aave and Synthetix have already chosen to build on top of this so that they can offer some of their products to people cross-chain. There are other things that you can do as well using CCIP. You can communicate cross-chain through some sort of messaging system that they've built into this, this protocol. So it's, it's not limited to just transferring tokens from one chain to another, but I'm interested how it will operate for the end user because right now bridges are very hard to manage for the end user. Unless you really know what you're doing, you can get very confused in trying to bridge assets over from one chain to another, especially with the way that things get wrapped when they bridge into the chain that you're trying to use. So I'm interested to see how this will operate on an end user basis, but for now, they're limiting this to builders that are trying to create smart contracts cross chain. This is an amazing feat for blockchain technology. It's definitely a step in the right direction. It's a lot safer than bridges that we have now because when we take a look at bridges that are for cross chain token transfers, we're talking about centralized ownership, usually through some sort of multi sig. And we've seen throughout history that multi sigs on bridges can easily be hacked and have done so. Billions and billions of dollars have been lost on these, these bridge hacks. Just last week, we had another one from Multichain. That one looks like it could be an inside job. There's been a lot of talks about how somebody that was helping with the operations there who had access to one of those keys on that multi-sig could have been responsible for that, but there's still an investigation to be done there. Like I said, so many of these bridges have been hacked previously. 
something like this is vital for moving forward in this space because not everybody wants to stick to one chain. And that's totally understandable because some of these decentralized applications, some of these games that are being developed are being developed on a single chain. And people want to be able to access those things. And they can't do that if their favorite chain is this one over here. But with CCIP, it gives them that opportunity to do so. So I'm really excited by this news. This is incredibly bullish. After all of the other bullish news we've had over the past week, this is honestly one of my favorites, and I hope it's yours as well. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Crypto Clay, out.